In this lesson, we are going to learn about how to manage Azure Blob Storage lifecycle. And within this lesson, we are going to learn about different Azure storage tier and storage pricing as well. Azure Storage offers different storage tiers, which allows you to store blob storage object data in the most cost effective manner. The available tiers include premium storage, which is a performance tier optimized for mission critical high performance applications. This is currently available only for block blob storage. Then there are other three access tiers currently available in the standard performance tier for general purpose B2 account types. Let's look into these one by one. The hot storage is optimized for storing data that is accessed frequently. The cool storage is optimized for storing data that is infrequently accessed and stored for at least 30 days. The archive storage is optimized for storing data that's rarely accessed and is stored for at least 180 days with flexible latency requirement. And these latencies can be in the order of hours. And these different storage tiers have some other consideration you have to take care. The archive storage tier is only available at the blob level and not at the storage account level. And the data in the cool storage tier can tolerate slightly lower availability, but it still requires high durability and similar time to access and throughput characteristics as hot data. Let's look into the storage tier pricing. The premium performance tier, block blobs only, and the hot access tier have the highest cost per GB per month for the data. The cool and archive access tiers have better price rates for large quantities of data. The premium performance tier and the hot access tier have the lowest cost per 10,000 read operations because they are designed for highly transactional data. The cool and archive access tiers are priced optimized for storage rather than transactions. The cool and archive tiers have higher cost for large transactional workloads. Let's look into the lifecycle management for these storage accounts. Azure Blob Storage Lifecycle Management offers a rich rule-based policy for general purpose V2 and blob storage accounts. You can use the policy to transition your data to the appropriate access tiers or to expire it at the end of the data's lifecycle. A lifecycle management policy lets you transition blobs to a cooler storage tier or delete blobs at the end of their life cycles or define rules to run once per day at the storage account level. Let's look at an example of a lifecycle management workflow. In this scenario, hot storage is best during the early stages and the cool storage is most appropriate for occasional access. And the archive storage is the best tier option after the data ages more than a month. By adjusting storage tiers with respect to the age of the data, you can design the least expensive storage option for your needs. To achieve this transition, lifecycle management policy rules are available to move aging data to cooler tiers. Let's look at a policy example. A policy must include at least one rule and you can define up to 100 rules in a policy. A rule name can include up to 256 alphanumeric characters and the name is case sensitive. It must be unique within a policy. Each rule definition is made up of a filter set and an action set. That concludes this lesson. In the next episode, we are going to learn about Azure Cosmos DB Overview. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.